this lecture we will learn about a problem from randomized algorithm it's a very beautiful small question that is given an array okay so given an array a n of size n there are n numbers or n integers in an array and it has a peculiar property that it has n by 2 distinct elements and n by 2 repeated elements okay so it has n by 2 distinct elements and n by 2 repeated elements and now the problem is to identify the repeated element so it's not a very big question it's not very difficult we can solve it linearly i can go through the loop and then i can compare that okay the numbers are getting repeated but what happens so let's see example first n is equal to 8 and i'm given an array 1 2 7 8 3 3 3 3 so four numbers n by two numbers are repeated i have to find that okay this number 3 is repeated so how will you go about it so one way is i can run a for loop okay i can run a for loop so first thing i will think is that okay i have n numbers i will go and the way you can think is that i have a 1 to n so i will go in a for loop and check what that for i is equal to 1 so i will compare a1 with all other numbers like a2 a3 till a of n okay and if i find that okay it's equal to some of them one of them then it's the repeated element but if it's not the case i will compare now a2 with a3 a4 till an and if two of them matches then i will say that okay so this is the one and this way i can go a3 i can compare with a4 a5 till an so like this if i keep on going and i can compare a n minus 1 so only number is a n so but this uh, what is the complexity of this algorithm which i have written this is the most primitive one that we can think first okay so when you are in the interview so you have to think in gradual steps so it will be something like for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to n i plus plus i will do then what we will do for j is equal to i j is less than equal to n j plus plus then what so we will say that okay if a of we will have the first number fixed so if a of i is equal to so i will start with i plus one so here is the beauty so we can change a little bit so what happens i will write here i plus one so if ai is equal to aj then i am done so return that i so because i or j anything that is the one that is repeated but otherwise keep on be in the loop okay and if i come out of all the loop and then also nothing is done then return minus one okay so it is something like i is equal to one and we will compare till j and this should be n minus one i think because i will compare only still n minus one so let's rub this one and correct it so it will be basically n minus 1 okay so this is order of n square algorithm so but but this is too big to solve such a simple problem but it is our starting place so next we consider is what 
what is the so worst case in the worst case even with our best algorithm so what will happen we can have what like all the first n by 2 elements are distinct okay so this is the worst case in that case what will happen so if there is an adversary okay who knows my algorithm who knows my algorithm to find the repeated elements so what he will do he will put all the distinct n by 2 elements first and then he will put the repeated element so what happens now so in that case the minimum in the worst case what will happen is that you have to travel this n by 2 elements and you will find out no repeated element and then you will see the first repeated element then also you are not sure this is the repeated element and then plus 1 so in minimum you will require n by 2 plus 2 scans of numbers to find the repeated element okay so this is the worst case like adversary can make you scan through n by 2 plus 2 elements but what the randomized algorithm does so let's see the randomized algorithm code. so here what we do is in and this problem increases if our n becomes very large okay so if we have say 10 to the power of 6 elements then so it's these many elements by 2 plus 2 we have to travel to find the repeated elements so it's so costly which is this many elements I have to travel to find out the repeated element which is very costly but what we say in randomized algorithm is that okay repeated I will get the array A and number of elements in it so what I will do I will do a while loop infinite while loop I will get two random numbers i is equal to random modulo n plus 1 so I will get one random number i one random number j and because of I am doing the modulo n plus 1 I will have the numbers from what I will have the random numbers it will be from it will be like so when you divide something so it, you will have a remainder till n so it will be from 1 to n we will get so now what if i is not equal to j so if both are equal then the element will be same but if i is not equal to j and a i is equal to a j then what we have found the equal number because any two numbers if they are equal so that's the repeated element so the n by 2 numbers are distinct so if so it's something like this i have many numbers like we saw here so if i choose now what i and j i choose and it is from 1 to 8 so let's say first time i chose i was so let's say i was 2 and j was 3 so now a of 2 is equal to 2 and a of 3 is equal to 7 so they are not equal so that is not the repeated element again i roll the dice and say i got now the number random number say 1 and 7 but again a of 1 is 1 and a of 7 is 3 so they are not equal but let's say I rolled now again and I got 5 and 6. So now A of 5 
and a of 6 are equal both of them are equal to 3 so our randomized algorithm will work and that's what it is doing so now just we need to do some analysis so what is the probability if I have n numbers and in which n by 2 are repeated so what is the probability that those of choosing i and j from that repeated part so I can choose first element n by 2 by n second one should be not same n by 2 minus 1 elements are left by n so this is the number I get and we find by if you do some calculation you will get that this probability is greater than equal to 1 by 5 or n is greater than equal to 10 so it means what that the probability that the algorithm does not quit in a given iteration is less than 4 by 5 so 1 by 5 is the chance that you will get the repeated element and we see that the probability that the algorithm does not terminate even after 100 iterations of the while loop so it's very low and it is e it is less than after 100 iteration that this doesn't end is 2.04 into 10 to the power of minus 10 which is almost equal to 0 so this will definitely terminate in 100 iterations and if you have n is equal to say big huge number then you can find it very easily in maximum of 100 iterations or even less so that is the beauty of this randomized algorithm and this was about repeated elements if you like this lecture so please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot